James 4.14. He says, how do you know what will happen even tomorrow? What, after all, is your life? It is like a puff of smoke, visible for a while, for a little while, and then dissolve in into thin air. What, after all, is your life? The question that was asked in that passage, James 4.14 is, what is your life? It could have been a more general question if it was asked as, what is life? But God was speaking to individuals and is still speaking to individuals for us to consider and to give an answer to that question, what is your life? What is my life? And for you to be able to answer that question, there are other questions that you must take along. For instance, you must be able to ask yourself, where did I come from? How, how did I get here? You need to ask that question. You need to ask the question, why am I here? Why have I come? You need also to answer the question, where am I going after living here? What is your life? Where are you from? Why are you here? Where are you going from here? So life is short. Therefore, don't waste it. Life is short, don't waste it. And you know that your life has been broken into time. It's segmented into time. And time is very precious. So don't waste time. Can I tell you something? Whoever you allow to waste your time, the same you have given permission to, to waste your life life is so short that it can be summarized in three words and anything that can be summarized is indeed short you know the three words 1912 to 2010 that is the summation of life is so short they put your best day and then they dash and then put your death day and the last time I checked the dash that is sandwiched between the best day and the death day for every man is the same that dash is never elongated according to the number of years that people live. Meaning that no matter the length of time you are privileged to live on earth, your life is still a dash. So life is very short. And that's why we must learn to not put our age, to not carry our age on our heads. Whether you are old, or you are young, your life is still what? A dash. And whether you like it or not, by the time you breathe your last, everything is reduced to the same thing. Birthday, dash, death day for everyone. Do something productive with your life whilst you still have the breath of life in you. Because a time will come that the breath will vanish away. And the moment that breath vanishes, the body drops. He says, teach us to realize the brevity of life. Meaning that life is short. Somebody say, Lord, teach me to realize the brevity of life so that I may grow in wisdom.